19th February A Call to Arms What can we do practically to oppose the enemy and maintain the purity and unity of the church? For one thing, we must know the word of God and have the courage to defend it. Every local church ought to be a Bible institute and every Christian ought to be a Bible student. The pulpit needs to declare positive truth as well as denounce error. Second, we must watch and pray. The enemy is already here and we dare not go to sleep. Spiritual leaders in local congregations need to be alert as they interview candidates for baptism and church membership. Committees need to seek the mind of Christ as they appoint Sunday school teachers, youth sponsors, and other church leaders. Congregations must exercise discernment as they select officers. Third, congregations and members must be careful where they send their money. Should you help the wicked and love those who hate the Lord? 2 Chronicles chapter 19 verse 2 Finally, we must have the courage to maintain a position of biblical separation from those who deny Christ and the fundamental doctrines of the word. This does not mean that we separate from fellow believers over minor doctrinal differences or that we practice guilt by association. God's true army needs to stand together in the battle for truth. Have you heeded the call to arms? The Bible says, Through thy precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Psalms chapter 119 verse 104. Also consider Psalms chapter 5 verse 4, chapter 84 verse 10, chapter 101 verse 3, Proverbs chapter 8 verse 13, Romans chapter 16 verses 17 to 20, and 2 John chapter 6 to chapter 11. Action Assignment Ask God for wisdom in determining what you can do to oppose the enemy and be better equipped as a student of his word. Make a note of at least one thing you want to do. Amen.